your tiny village with our presence so that you might be whole, the real princess of the night. A creature of nightmares no longer, but instead a pony who desires your love and admiration. Together we shall change this dreadful celebration into a bright and glorious feast. Now, who unleashed the powers of harmony upon us and took away our dark powers. And that was a good thing, right? But of course, we could not be happier. Is that not clear? Well, you kind of sound like you're yelling at me. But this is the traditional royal Canterlot voice. It is tradition to speak using the royal we, and to use this much volume when addressing our subjects. You know, that might explain why your appearance was met with mixed results. I think if you just changed your approach a bit, you might be met with a warmer reception. Change our approach? Lower the volume. Oh. We have been locked away for a thousand years. We are not sure we can. Charmed! Likewise. Twilight Sparkle has spoken of the sweetness of thy voice. We ask that thou teachest us to speak as thou speakest. Shall our lessons begin? Okay. Shall we mimic thy voice? Okay. How is this? Perfect. Lesson over. Nay, children, wait! I mean, nay, children, wait! <laughs> Princess, remember! Watch the screaming! No, Twilight Sparkle! We must use the traditional royal Canterlot voice for what we are about to say. Since you choose to fear your princess rather than love her, and dishonor her with this insulting celebration, we decree that Nightmare Night shall be cancelled forever! <laughs> Goodbye, Nightmare Night. Forever. Citizens of Holyville, you were wise to bring this candy to me. I am pleased with your offering. So pleased that I may just eat it instead of eating you! <laughs> <laughs> 